Hey, I'm late. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Okay, so I said eight-ish, I think. Let me tell you, what happens when you say eight-ish? Well, you're probably gonna come on at eight-ish. So, I'm unorganized a tiny bit, but I was ready to do this. I was so ready to do this, but guess what? Mother Nature called me and the dog. So, that threw me off kilter. And so, I owe um, happy mail to two people, and I'm going to send it out. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get it sent out tomorrow. It's Friday, and I'm sorry that it's taken a little while. But I owe Rebecca Williams, and if you are around, let me know. I have your address. And a Kim Turner, who is Kim Price Turner, my cousin. And um, I have her address, and I'm late sending it. Now... I want to do some um, advertising. Let me let me put this this way and put my cup behind it so you can see it. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, I just washed brushes and things and um, I've been working today, y'all. I've been really working hard. Yeah, no idea how hard I've been working today. So, I have a little friend in California. And you know what? She's a pretty special little friend. Um, I call her a little friend, little girl. She's, um, she's actually the same age as my youngest son, uh, except I think her birthday's in March and his is October. So she's from March to October, older than him. And I won't tell what their ages are, but Oh, I'll tell Jared's. Let's see. That'll be 39. Anyway, is that like 39 forever now? So they get to that year that uh, they don't have to go. They can stay 39 forever if they want to. So anyway, this little friend of mine is really, really, really special. And I left her little card in there, I guess, but um, I thought I had it with me right here. I guess not. Anyway, you see this t-shirt? I'm going to stand up and model it for you. Raising my husband is exhausting. Well, let me tell you about this t-shirt. My little friend made this t-shirt for me. They came, it came today in the mail along with another one and um, some special sauce for, um, for me to put on some mozzarella and tomatoes. Anyway, um, I really love it and I would sauce. tell you to go to, I forgot again, um, Jing's, and it may be pronounced Ying's, but um, Jing, J-E-N-G apostrophe S creations, um, and and um, check her out. Uh, she's um, she's just a sweetheart. I really love her. Anyway, um, so that's where I got the shirt. And um, I'm going to post a video tomorrow that I did. <laughs> I did part of it, and then I had to end it because um, we went somewhere, and then it, time got by, and it was a long time later. And when I picked it back up, I had changed into this because I did it this afternoon. I finished it this afternoon, so I had this, this, um, I had this different hair and this shirt on. So anyway, um, we're going to do a couple of pumpkins and um, a little different, I think. 
well, not that different, but just a little bit different. So this are, these are the things that help me if you do those things for me. Um, and I appreciate it. And I'm going to put this little board away. So take a snapshot of it if you need to, a screenshot, and it tells you kind of what to do. And it can help you if you have to do something like this in the future. future. Whoops. So there is my cup, my tumbler, and I'm looking for the young lady that I got this from. Let's see if I can get me down here correctly. It's a mess behind me, so don't pay any attention. Hey, 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 hey. Um, I might not be able to see comments, but I'm going to talk. Anyway, I want to find the girl that I got this tumbler from um, when I went to the, um, we were both vendors at the um, Lizard Man stomp in Bishopville, and um, we kind of, we kind of traded products, what we did. But but anyway, um, I want another one of these in a more, not beach. I mean, I love beach stuff, but um, it's about about to end. The beach stuff is about to end. So, And I love this tumbler. It has been really helpful. This ice will stay in this tumbler until tomorrow sometime. Seriously, it really will. So, um, I, you know, and I guess I've, I've not been gotten out a whole lot because I had no idea about these tumblers. I mean, I know I have a friend um, named Sandy in California that does tumblers too, but I don't know if they're this kind of tumblers. This is just the neatest thing. Look, isn't this beautiful? Like, and of course, we're in South Carolina, so this is all true about, but it's a beautiful tumbler. And, um, it's metal on the inside, and I guess that's normal. I mean, I just don't pay attention to them. I have so many drinking cups. In the day, we had these, we had them. We got our Starbucks in them. We got all this stuff, and I had Starbucks cups and have all that stuff, and I don't know where they all went, but we moved them, I'm pretty sure, with us. But I don't hardly drink. Whoops, I lost a letter out of my little sign. I don't hardly, I don't drink Starbucks anymore. We do have a Starbucks here. Um out on the highway, like, it's the word like. I got this sign at the Dollar General and, and put it together. It, I thought it was a neat little sign. It kind of it kind of says what to do. So um, I have another friend I see on here um, who makes cakes and cookies. And I'd be glad to advertise her too, um, along with my friend Jenny, who made my shirt. I don't know who was here when I first got on, but I got this shirt today, so I had to put it on. She made it, sent it to me in the mail. Uh, raising my husband is exhausting. I love this shirt, and it's like, it, it fits the big person, so it's good. Anyway, so that's that's kind of what's happening um, with me, and tomorrow, <laughs> this is, you know, my wig, because it's been a bad hair day. And um, tomorrow's my hair day. I'm going to go see my hairdresser, Corliss, and get my hair fixed. So hopefully I'll, I'll be in better shape. The only thing we have to do is find one of those fitness places that can take some, shave some fat off. And we'll be in really, really good shape then. Anyhow, so let's get busy with these pumpkins um, it's really, it's really, uh, it's a matter of pushing away from the table and exercising, I'm pretty sure, to get to, I don't know why this pumpkin's like so dirty up at the top here, but it is. But we're going to decoupage a napkin on this and um, this one. And I think um, you'll like it. And you know, if I have my lighter, we'll burn it off. Y'all stay and watch. I'm going to burn it. I'm going to burn the napkin. Okay. I'm thinking probably, uh, I'm wondering if all of us that are sanding and doing this stuff are going to have long things going on later because we, we're not ventilating real well. So let me, let me just real quick get my, and, and you know what? My table is hitting my tripod. I see that right now. We're working on the new table. Every time this comes up, I say, I'm gonna soon have the new table, but all in good time. I think in my 
my other desk, I have this monstrosity <laughs> here. Let's see if it works though. I always have trouble with these things. Um, I think you just, I have no idea what you do. Oh, you hold it down. It works. Okay, so we'll burn that sucker off. So let's, um, we're gonna do this pumpkin as well. We're gonna paint it and we're gonna put this um, Try Me Kit transfer. Um, I did the um, transfer the other day on a little palette board. Autumn shows how beautiful it is to let things go. So we're gonna do that on this pumpkin, but we're first gonna do this one. And I'm gonna put, um, I wrote down what I was gonna put on this pumpkin, Thanksgiving blessing. So I have all these little sayings from our tiered tray and um, Thanksgiving blessing. We'll go on this once I have the napkin done on it. So here we go, girls and boys. I've already cut this napkin. It, it was a big napkin from Hoblob. And I um, and they're on sale because, you know, it's the holiday stuff. Um, I only need, I only need half of it. So let's cut it. Let's cut it. I only need a quarter of it. This was, this was half of it. So let's, um, let's cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. So, um, look at these pumpkins. They're like, um, crocheted and fabric. They look like, that looks like that white one looks crocheted, huh? Anyway, so, okay. It doesn't take much to make me happy. And look at the gourd. And we do have a gourd that goes with this set, but I don't have the gourd with me. Um, I have a gourd back here, though, that you can look at. They look like this. This was last year's gourd that I did a transfer on. The shapes are all the same, but this was last year. And I put just a kind of a messy little, little um, raggedy cloth bow and some raffia on it. And uh, the other thing here is, um, this is the other one. This is like this one that we're going to do. And I did that the other day. And I did that on here. And it's the back side. They're two-sided. They're, um, they're all two-sided. So you could get, you know, double use out of them. Um, so this is last year's. And... <laughs> So I just flipped it over and put this new stuff on it this year. Okay. I'm clever. And then there's another one back there, but I won't bore you with all of that. Um, I put uh, three pieces of scrap wood together. You see what those are? Just wood uh, boards. I, Ray might have rounded them. I don't recall that or not, but they're just uh, little boards. I glued them together, tied some ribbon on them, put some put some um, bark uh, twigs in them. He drilled holes for me and did that. And I think that's a cute thing, huh? Cute piece. So, okay. So the next thing that I'll be doing will be leaves. Um, probably, I don't know if I'll do them tomorrow or Monday, but we have leaves, two-sided leaves that we have transfers for. So I can't wait. And these will be autumn leaves. So there. We go, let's get going. Sorry about that, I digress and I go away from what I'm supposed to be doing. And um, Chip is back here to watch me. Okay, so we've got the napkin. What we need to do now is we need to decoupage this pumpkin because when we decoupage the pumpkin, the napkin goes on. Let me get my decoupage the right kind. Um, I noticed the other day I had all this decoupage, all these decoupage jars, and um, I don't want all the special stuff like dishwasher safe, and we're not gonna put this wood in the dishwasher, I'm pretty sure. And I don't want to do that one, so let's see. I think this one's this, this is good outdoor exterior that'll be fine anyway that's it and i think this one i got not too long ago at um, when we went to, to columbia to michael's so i'm going to go ahead and open it because i thought i had a bunch of little ones from the 
Dollar Tree, but I think I used, um, for the video I did today, I used the balance of what I had there. So we're gonna, we're gonna get this going, maybe. Okay, you didn't see this. Hope my dentist doesn't, because I don't really usually do that kind of thing. But a while back, I started doing it. It's a bad thing. All right, you guys. Uh, I'm worthless tonight. Abs. Well, this thing, I hope this, I don't know how long this had been sitting at Michael's when I bought it, but my mercy. It's like, ew. We're going to see if we can get into the baby wipes now. I got a new package I brought. Ooh. Lord, I'm praying over this project. Praying over this project that it'll be a good project. That you'll like it and enjoy it. So, we get that stinky stuff off. And I think I'll use this to pull the rest. Okay. So, there we go. Sorry about that. Nothing like being prepared. And this is this little tiny thing I got. So, uh... Ooh, it feels kind of, is it supposed to be that thick? Glue, I don't know, but we're going to use it anyway. We're going to roll it across this pumpkin, and we're going to give it a good coat. And I need to turn my heat press on. So that it's ready when we are ready. This won't take long. Remember, we're going to burn this thing. We don't set the house on fire. <laughs> That's probably not funny. That's not funny. Earlier tonight, um, I thought we had an earthquake. Something, maybe it was a big truck that went by a big... Um, 18 wheeler because we live on a main highway that is a thoroughfare north and south through South Carolina and uh, the windows rattled and they rattled like like that one night that the earthquake came and I was in the bathroom <laughs> and I was scared to death it like felt like a train just rumbled through the house and just shook it all so um but it, it still wasn't like bad. It wasn't like California for anybody that's watching from California. It still wasn't like that. It wasn't, somehow it wasn't scary. But at 1130 at night when you get out of the shower and, and everything's shaking and rumbling, well, it can be. Okay, so that's it. It can be kind of a little bit frightening. So I have put a good coat on here. I'm gonna dry it with, um, I'm gonna use this one. It's a little bit quieter for now. And I'm gonna drink, you know, I have crystal light. I'm gonna drink some nourishment. Um, I don't drink enough water. I hardly drink enough water and I should. So I doctored this with lemonade flavor. Crystal Light. Do you remember that? Wasn't that the first Crystal Light that ever came out? It was lemonade. My heat press is done. Heated. So we just need to dry this. And the reason is when we put that heat press on it with the parchment paper, it's going to reactivate this. But we want it to be dry when we lay our napkin on it. Now, there's other ways to do it, but I guess... This is the way Lindell knows how. So this is what we're, we're gonna do. It's kind of shiny still, so no, it's tacky. I'm thinking this is something I really shouldn't be using. Water-based outdoor exterior Mod Podge. Brush moderate amount onto surface and backside of paper or fabric. Flip paper over, then position on the surface glue to glue. 
smooth out air bubbles and wrinkles. Well, that's what you do with the regular stuff. Cure, cure time is four weeks, people. <laughs> well, my word. Cure time is four. I never read directions. Apply a clear acrylic sealer over the cured Mod Podge to eliminate tackiness. All right, we're not going to have that anyway because the napkin is going to cover this. And if this doesn't work, then we're just, we just messed up alive, didn't we? Okay. So, it's good enough. It's good enough. Um, I thought I pulled my, um, parchment paper out. <laughs> if anybody saw me, if they didn't. I have another piece here. Oh, it fell. So, that's my parchment paper. It makes a lot of noise. And it's just plain old... Debbie knows what that is if she's still on parchment paper. I'm pretty sure she probably knows what that is. So, let's put this napkin... This is the way we're going to do it. Um, right down on this little pumpkin puppy. It's hot. That thing had it made it hot. And we're gonna just rub it down a little bit. Now, I can't remember if you burn it before or after you seal it. I think after. Yeah, I think after. So we're just gonna run our why is my heat press cord so far way back there? Um, we're just going to run our heat press over this. Let's get some of this stuff out of our way. I can't wait to get my new table set up. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's, I'm so excited about that. It's taken a while, but we want it to be right when it happens. So, I want everything to be perfect. So all I'm doing is running this um, this heat press over the um, parchment paper and the wood piece and the napkin, and it doesn't take too long, I don't think. Um, this this heat this is all hot. It's going to be really hot when I pick it up. I'm pretty sure, but it's a thick piece of wood, so hopefully it'll be okay. Now let me look and see what we look like here. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so smooth. But let's see if we're, if we, y'all, I didn't separate my layers. <laughs> it's not going to be a real good thing. Not going to be a real good thing. Because... <laughs> and it's probably three, three layers it's okay we're gonna just take it off take it off take it off we should just burn it off huh <laughs> burn it off let's burn it off I think we can do that see that people burn it it off As long as I don't burn the house down, we're good. Okay. I, I... Okay, so now, um, how many people do you think have done that? How many people do you think? I kind of burned a pumpkin here and I burned a little bit of stuff. How many have done that? Oh my word. Okay. That was so thin. <laughs> We're gonna this just delayed it a tiny bit. Three minutes. Let's say it's added three minutes to the video. Three minutes. That's all. <laughs> and in the meantime, I'm changing the Mod Pod. Okay, y'all. <laughs> what fun! What fun I have, huh? I have. Okay, here's what we're going to do right now. 
We're going to make sure. I have a feeling this is another, because um, these napkins were at the Hob Lobby, and um, they're generally nicer than the Dollar Tree. It was three ply. So, okay, so, yo, this is funny, funny, funny. Okay. I, like I said, three minutes at the most, but we got to get that stuff off of this. I won't be using that brush again until it's good and clean. We'll use a different foam brush and a different... I'm going to look for some more. I have a little thing here, but I never used this before. It's called decoupage, and this was at the Dollar Tree. It's the crafter's closet, but I never really tried it but it can't oh how are you supposed to get into that stuff well for crying out loud well it we may have to add five minutes to the show here five minutes, five minutes. trying to find something that i think i can use that will be right for this where my little Tweezer things, or not tweezers, but, um, okay, <clears throat> nope, that's not them, here we go, they're like needle nose pliers, and, okay, see, I didn't know about this, so this is going to be, you know what, maybe you're supposed to, uh, break it down in there. Do you think? Read directions whenever in doubt, maybe. It says nothing. Absolutely nothing about getting into it. So. Okay. Anybody that wants to chime in about this, I'm going to stick a hole in it with the scissors. Where's my scissors? I just cut, uh, there they are. I just cut this on another here. I'll cut myself. I'm dangerous. I am a dangerous person here. That's what, that's what my husband says. Dangerous. If I had any sense, I would be dangerous. I know what I'm going to use instead of these because... I have some old little scissors that snip right out points. Okay. There it came. Well, no directions. So it didn't matter if I didn't read it or not because there were no directions. So I'm safe. Okay. Here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to pour it on this pumpkin. Maybe it's, um, I don't think we need a whole lot. I mean, I think we're good there. And I have another brush. Fear not. I have another roller. We're going to roll it on. Yeah, I can tell the texture of this one is a lot different than this. So let's beware of using that. Four weeks to cure. This is hard to come out. <laughs> This looks, has a different look than um, real Mod Podge. <laughs> this, is, this is Dollar Tree Mod Podge. I don't know if it's real or not. We'll find out in a minute. We will find out in a minute. Now we've burned, we've burned the edges of our pumpkin a little bit. Kind of scorched it, but it'll be okay. It's all right. This will go down in history. My history for a live that was funny. 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 Okay, so I want to be a teacher, <laughs> but I really, I really need to know what I'm doing if I'm going to teach, right? Let's put this away. So we're going to draw the routines again. Now we might have added ten minutes. I don't know. It could have been ten minutes by now, but we have that napkin <laughs> done. 
I think I did this once before. I don't remember if I was on a live when I did it or if I just did it. And I don't think I was. I think it just, um, I did it. And, uh, <laughs> and the napkin came apart later, but I wasn't, I wasn't on a live, so it's okay. And I didn't sell it to anybody, so it's all right. Um, I'm gonna put my video where I can see it here a little bit better okay okay this dried a lot quicker that other stuff is like brutal okay now i'm pretty sure we have enough it's kind of shiny okay we're gonna do it again and it's the same napkin remember <laughs> remember that that didn't change. The napkin didn't change. I was trying to get like a little bit of all of those pumpkins on there. I didn't try that before, but I'm trying it this time. I mean, I didn't pay attention to that before. I think I had it that way, but I wasn't like really being sure about it. So, so here we go. Once again, once again, you know, when you start doing this stuff, I bet you there would be um, designers or crafters that have been doing this a long time that have all kinds of stories. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry over spilt milk. Not right now. <laughs> not right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was <clears throat> really, <laughs> really not funny, was it? And then it's like, I'm going to lose my viewers because they aren't going to want to stay with me um, and watch this. But it's okay. Have you guys ever made mistakes like that? Have you ever like done something like that? Doing something, some kind of craft or some sort of something you were creating or making or um, <laughs> have you ever like made a mistake? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we all have. I'm, I'm okay with it. Okay, this, um, I believe, is good. Okay, and in order not to... This is hot. It's really hot. Hot to touch. This, this is noisy. No, sorry about that. It seems like that the uh, microphone on the phone picks up some sounds and that picks up doesn't pick up others. I think I should cut some of it off so that we're not burning um, too much, too much here. But I want to show it to you. Uh, you saw a little bit, but you didn't really see it because that was already off. I mean, that was nothing. I did this before, and um, and then it's funny. <laughs> I shake, the, I shake my. Uh, my fire wand the whole time like I'm shaking it like this like it's gonna put it out or something I don't know I watched I watched myself doing it before and it was kind of it was funny it was really funny <laughs> so here we go I figured this out it's really not as hard some of them I can't do they're too hard I had my bottle of water just in case, y'all. Okay, we're good. We're all right. We're good. I didn't want it to go too far without me. See, I shake it. There you go. There you go. I had a bottle of water. Already. Already. Now, let's... Now what we're going to do is... Um, Cause it's singed this, I want this look. So fear not, that's an okay look for me. Um, it might not be a look somebody wants to buy, but it's an okay look. So all I'm doing here is just making sure that everything is off and a lot of that, um, um, ash is gone and uh it's still hot from the um 
heat press on it. That's, that thing is really hot. So now, that's what we have. I'm going to clean this off onto the floor because the floor needs to be swept um, really bad anyway. I did some card crafting um, last couple of days and I made a mess. I made a mess. So we have it. Isn't that cute? Now we're going to put the words on it, but first, first, I'm going to put my heat tool up here and I'm going to get wax. I, I hope I didn't set off the fire alarm or something. <laughs> it smells like something's been burning in here. You can't smell that. I'm afraid, I'm afraid my husband might come in. So we need a little, a little tiny coat of wax on it to um, just buffer it from the the transfer so the transfer comes up easy. I mean, it's not going to be a problem anyway. I'm not putting much on it and it's really small. It's a small piece. So I'm going to turn my applicator over and just buff a little. This thing is still hot from the heat press. I turned it off, right? No, I didn't. Okay. That's, that's amazing how, how deep that must have gone. It's okay though. It wasn't from the it wasn't from the um, from the lighter. That's not what made it hot. It's hot from from this little guy right here. That's a warm thing. Okay, so I decided on this one. I'm gonna put uh, Thanksgiving blessing. I just have to find it. Oh, here we go. These are these are the sayings. Um, this is a transfer that we got with our tiered tray. Um, add-ons, essentials, or whatever, and um, so they go They go on all the different tiered tray pieces, and you can use them for anything else. They don't have to be for that, so I'm going to put this one on because I think it will be pretty. Here we go. Okay. And I'm just going to do that in simple black paste. Did I even get black paste out? Probably not. So, black velvet. And we'll take our squeegee. And here we go. We're going to put... I'm just making sure this is down, adhered down nicely and no bubbles for the paste to bleed through the screen because it's done if that happens with this one. Uh, Ray would have to take this out to his sander and sand the whole thing off and start over. I mean, that's it's doable, so never fear. If you're working on a project, there's always a, a workaround. Okay. So after I have black paste all over my fingers, that's kind of what it is. I'm messy. I'm going to clean the squeegee a little bit with this for now. Um, the other one will be a lot easier. <laughs> There's no burning. There's no napkin. It'll be okay. So... Let's see. I'm scared to look. I'm scared to look. Isn't that pretty? It came out. It did well. I like it. Sorry. Am I moving that thing again? Okay, I'm putting my transfer under here and I'm going to put some water on it and leave it. I don't have my Nice setup, right? Um, there again, that's another reason I want that table because it's going to make a big difference cleaning transfers because 
I'm going to have a space on the table to do it because I'm going to get rid of a brother scanning cut that's over here and an electric die cut that's over here. They're going to some other heaven, some other place. I don't know where. I'm going to try to set up another area for card crafting. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Okay, so that is done and the transfer is, I don't have to worry about it now either because um, sometimes <clears throat> I have forgotten. I stuck them under there and did my live and left and didn't clean them. And that paste dries in the screen. It's a little bit rough on the transfer. The transfers are reusable many times but the key is to take good care of them so they're worth their money. So I think that is cute. I'm not doing anything else to it. I'm going to sit it right here for now. I like it. And I have a whole lot of paste out, but this is a small project. So this one, again, I sanded a little bit around it and, um, I'm looking to see which way. Yeah, I'm going to go opposite way. Um, I need to wax it before we put the um, transfer on. So, thanks if you liked it. I, li I hope you... Um... Hey, you like the shirt? Cynthia, hey! Well, I told the story. Um, I have a little friend in California who's making these, and she's doing really super duper... Um, I, I want to think that um, I hired her as my receptionist. I want to think in 2006, but I, I probably could be wrong about that. And she was a very faithful young lady, very sweet. Um, and she has since grown up and gotten married and had a little, she has a little boy who's seven, I believe. And um, she... Uh, she left that job. Um, she took my job as office manager, actually. But she left that facility, and um, I believe she's a pharmacy. She was with pharmacy and trying to do some other things, schooling and what have you. And then um, she started doing these 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 t-shirts. She does sublimation, so I thought it was just really neat. When, when it came today and I, I put it on. I, uh, if you go back and watch the video, I kind of told the story about it. So um, Ray said that <clears throat> nobody's raising him, but <laughs> somebody uh, else told me today that we all know that's wrong. That's not true, but you know, <laughs> that, that he's, uh, He's being raised. So, okay, so now this one, I thought I had opened this. Oh, I have. Um, I used this on another. Oh, hold on one second. I want to go get the little palette real quick and bring it to you to see. This is um, available only to customers for anybody that's interested. Um, you can message me if you have, um, if you're interested. It's called a Try Me Kit. Every month we have a Try Me Kit for 22 something dollars. And this is, the palette board comes, the little palette board. It's a nice little board. I put the ribbon on myself. Um, and then a transfer. And um, paste comes with it. Um, whatever the paste is. Um, I, I think I, I used the paste that came with it. They were paste packets, so it was black, and um, this was um, shimmer, either shimmer gold or shimmer copper. I don't remember, but anyway, so that's, so, so it just makes a nice little stand-up thing, and you can, um, you could reverse it and put something different on the back side. Um, you could put little feet on it and make it a little, a little tray, a little riser. Um, it's, you know, it's just a little piece that is kind of neat. 
anyway that comes you get that uh, the palette board with a transfer ever, ever you can get that it's not a club it's not a subscription you can just go on the website and order it so i have put some wax on this and we're going to put this on here and it's i want to make sure that i get as many of these as i can i knew that it was going to be you know a touch and go situation as far as you see it goes off the bottom a little bit here and then we have the words up here so that's okay um i could bring it down a tiny bit i guess and make sure because if i put some raffia up here I, it'll cover the words up if i so we're still going to have leaves and um i wanted to do um with the leaves I had thought that I would sit here while y'all watch and do each leaf different color, each leaf a different color, but you see there's a lot of leaves. So I got all these colors out, but I changed my mind. And I, I wrote down my idea that I, I had on that. And I said that I was gonna do the um, words in shimmer copper. And this is the shimmer copper. And it's a really pretty color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the words and get that out of the way. And, and we're just running the paste through the screen onto the pumpkin surface. And I'll pull it, I won't pull it off, but I'll pull it to release the paste out of the screen and leave the paste down on the board. Um, because it, as it dries, it will um, pull it up. It won't stay. And this is a shimmer, and they are a little bit... There's something in there that's not supposed to be there. little white flake in there. Where that came from. Let's use this napkin piece to get that off. Okay, we're okay. We're fine. It was just, I don't know what it was. Okay, so... Um, extra paste goes right back in the jar so you don't waste any. You use what you need. If you put an extra lot on there, it'll come right off. Go on to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it and release it. Now I'll let you see how it looks. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to put it back. It'll just lay. It's not, it's not pressed down, so we don't have to worry about that. And let's, let's get rid of the black. We don't need that. I've got black under my fingernail. Last time I used black, the same thing happened yesterday. I had black everywhere. I I'm not sure what's wrong with me. I still have it everywhere. And I don't want... It, it's just paste. Our paste is... Um, it's of a mayonnaise yogurty consistency generally. The shimmers are a little bit thicker because they've got mica and sparkles in them. Um, but they dry pretty easy. But they're water-based, so it comes off. Um, it probably won't come off of clothes if you get it on clothes. But... So um, what I decided now I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting a little bit of paste I'm going to need a whole bunch of these little stir sticks. This was not my original plan, but it's going to be kind of a messy technique. It's, it's called, I think that's what it's called. We're going to put just a little bit. This is orange peel. We're going to put a little bit all around here. And I shouldn't put it on all the leaves because I don't want them all to be orange, I guess. I'm going to use all the different colors. So I'll be using a baby wipe and I, I brought a lot of these out, but I don't really need that. This is our forest color and it's um, a new color, new color, newer color with the fall release. And it's a nice consistency. It had a piece of dry stuff there I had to get off. Okay, so now I want a little bit of it here and there. You know, the leaves are changing. That's what we're doing. That's what we're getting at falling and um, letting them go because they're going to fall and go away. Um, that's what this little saying is. Okay, we don't need, we're not going to use all this paste that I got out. I was like, uh, I was overachieving there. 
Um, let's see, put a tiny bit of yellow, tiny bit of yellow. And then I thought I'll put a little rust as well. My bumblebee is getting down to the nubble bubble. I'm about out. I hope that you guys have had a good day and it's the, almost the end of a working week for people that work Monday through Friday. And I hope you've, everything has gone well for you and you're looking forward to the weekend. Um, we had some rain today off and on. Um, most of the day. I mean, it wasn't a lot, but we did have rain finally. Okay, this is rust, and this is probably all I'm going to do. Um, I had another green, but I don't think it's necessary. I have to be careful. I don't get uh, errant paste into... That's it. That's good enough. It's going to dry if I don't get it done. So we're going to take the squeegee. And we're just going to, and hope I have enough. I may not have enough on here. We're going to just spread this paste. It's already dried. <laughs> sort of. There's not that much. I probably should have put a little bit more, but it's okay. We can add. Remember, this washes out of the transfer. So it's not um, permanent. Now... We're going to have to do more. Let me put this down here. I can't put, oops, I can't put that in another um, container. So I just want to get enough paste to make this wet. Because it, it sort of dried. I could have used a little bit of moisture, or we could have done this. This is another way that might give it a little better smoothing. And I think one way to do that is to go wet finger and smooth. I can't really see what's what and what's not. It's getting really garbled up here kind of so we just want to make sure it goes everywhere okay that could have been a mess i made but we'll see maybe i don't want you to see it maybe i do it's okay it's not bad i'm gonna let you see it if you can see it I, I, my eyes are bothering me so i don't know if you can see that um up close there's not uh, many leaves but they're all kind of different colors and green ones fell, I guess. A lot of green ones fell, but that's okay. The wind blew them off the tree and it's all good. So that is what we have done. We're gonna, we're just about done. Since I made such a, um, <laughs> such a boo-boo with my, if, if anybody's on here and didn't see the beginning, you need to go back and see the beginning because it was pretty funny, pretty funny. I'm going to do a quick video um, tomorrow, and um, it won't be a live video. It's just going to be a quick video, and I'm going to use this little, this little cutting board, um, and I'm going to put this napkin on it and sunflowers. I mean, just a little bit of the napkin, not the whole napkin. And um, I bet I'm going to do it on a short video, um, like a voiceover. And I'm going to put words on it, so I'm not sure yet what I'm going to put on it. I think I do have it written down what I was going to do. Give thanks. I'm going to put give thanks on it. So those are kind of, um, uh, these are kind of like, uh, well, hold you into Thanksgiving fall through Thanksgiving season till Christmas. And remember, this has got a backside. It can be done, and I'm going to do the backside as well. Um, I will tie some raffia on here, but I won't do that tonight because since I'm going to be doing a transfer on it um, later. So there you have it. This was our project. And like I said, you need to go back and watch the beginning. The beginning of this and I hope you will um, 
I hope you will. Um, somebody else uses this. Um, another designer friend of mine. Bless, bless the um, work. And um, we're the word. Um, we're coming up with words that we need to use that are friendly for um, the FB. FB people, you know, this is FB Facebook. So, um, so I just have written it down. Um, I hope that you will do that. I hope that you will give me hearts uh, or give me a um, one word comment will be good. It won't do anything to you. It won't hurt your um, uh, feed. Um, and if you'll, you'll do the, um, the follow, uh, uh, follow me, um, you will know, um, when I'm going to do lives, you get, uh, when I'm on the lives, you, you'll know that. So thanks again for watching. I'm going to paint around the edge of this with Dune, which is this color. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's that color. Um, I'm going to go around the edge of it because I, I, um, I like the burn, but um, I'm just going to go around the edge with that and kind of <laughs> cover the burn up. <laughs> I can sand it off, but I want to paint it. I'm going to make, I'm going to paint the edge and it'll be just more distinct. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I love you all. I um, am happy that you joined me and um, have a good rest of your Thursday night and God bless you. Bye-bye.